Welcome to today's Crook and Chase, when we'll talk with comedian Richard Lewis and his TV love interest, Jamie Lee Curtis. Plus, he was a monkey, now he's a top music maker. Catch up with Michael Nesmith of The Monkees. And we promise singer Lynn Anderson will be along later. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Chase and Leslie Hamer. Welcome to the uh, the old Crook and Chase show. Uh, say hello to Leslie Hamer. Leslie is in for uh, uh, Lorian. Lorian, that's right. Who is? Uh, where is she? Don't tell them what you I said told, earlier. No, I told them she was in jail, but no, she got she's out. Not in she's jail. Not, okay, she's uh, she's <laughs> now she's doing a special with uh, Ronnie Millsap. You'll be hearing more about that. That's right. Yes. Well, what, what were you saying about the audience? Who just? No, thought? I said some of these people are clapping very loudly. Yes. One moment over here reminded me of my mom. You'd think she was mom over there. You know? <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, Thank wait. you. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, do you realize what we're saluting this week? Teenagers. Now, we were all teenagers one time or the other. Some more recently than others. Yes, some more recent. But uh, we're saluting the teens. And, well, I don't like to talk about my teenagers, you know. Were you, what were you like as a teenager? I was nice a, person? I was a model you like, teenager. You look like you would be a model person. Well, I was person. just like, you know, Susie Cream Cheese. I mean, my, my dad was a colonel in the Army, so I couldn't get out of line too much. Mm. A model student, okay. that type of thing. Look where I am today. <laughs> Standing next what about to your, me. <laughs> what about yourself? I don't necessarily Do you remember that well, part yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, you know, when you come home on Friday night, there are two questions you normally get asked by your parents. Well, in my case, it was on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Number one, where have you been to get all that mud on your car? Where had and, you been? Well, we all know when, when you're out touring on Friday night, you don't take a lot of the main roads. Oh, ugly gates, huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Didn't want anybody and to the, see them. And the second most asked question was, when did you start chewing six pieces of dentine at the same time? Ooh. Well, hmm. Don't tell me you never did that. <laughs> Why's up there? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh huh. Yeah, you're starting <laughs> to admit it now. Okay. But uh, anyway, since we are saluting teens this week, do yourself a favor. Salute okay. the teens. Don't bother one today. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of teenagers mind. would be happy to hear that. Well, we've got a great show ahead. Yes, we did. Lynn Anderson, lovely person. She's going to be out here. Mm hmm. And she's going to talk about being a teenager as well. <laughs> surprised when film star Candace Bergen signed on to play TV newscaster. Remember, and he now produces music videos. That's right. Now, it's been over 20 years since the monkeys burst onto the American scene. Mm -hmm. The foursome kept the country glued to their TV sets every Monday night, and everybody had their favorite monkey. Yeah. Well, one of those was tall Texan Michael Nesmith. Now, when the group broke up, Michael became a pioneer of sorts, and I discovered that he could work just as easily behind the camera as in front of it. <laughs> the 60s, the Monkees became America's answer to the Beatles. But after several years of hit records and a smash TV show, the group disbanded. Although they got together in 1986 for a reunion tour, Michael Nesmith chose to return for just a few performances. It wasn't really uh, any effort to disassociate myself from that. I have no desire to do that. Uh, it was an effort to uh, just continue to expand my own thinking and, and to um, uh, be productive. and. And, and helpful or whatever, you know, seemed to be the right thing at the time. What seemed right to Michael was continuing his work in film and video. Since his departure from the Monkees, Nesmith has been actively involved in offbeat productions like Tape Heads, the story of two young video directors. Called the founding father of the music video, Nesmith is quick to point out that he was one of many to develop the new form. There's a lot of people who say that, gee, you know, you invented the music video. Well, what happened was I started doing music videos at the beginning when other people started doing music videos too. I didn't invent the music video. There was a half a dozen people out there working in the forum. I just happened to 
be there at the right time. Same thing with tape heads. Yeah, it's perfect timing, but it was not anything we planned. As for inventing MTV, Nesmith claims he was merely making the most of available airwaves. Warner Brothers and American Express had formed a cable company, and they had an idle transponder in the sky. And I said, you know, we could, you could do 24-hour day television format, and you could play these music clips. And they said, well, nobody makes these music clips. I said, put the thing on the air. Believe me, they'll make them. The music video is now a standard tool of the recording industry. As for aspiring video directors, Michael has a simple piece of advice. If you sit in your couch at home thinking, gee, I sure would love to do that, then you're not doing it. Get up off of the couch, turn the television off, go out, get a video camera, get some friends and film something. Sounds like good advice. Yeah. Well, now that it seems like everybody is doing music videos, Michael is out to conquer brand new territory. His latest venture is in the area of video publishing. He hopes to have video magazines that you can mm -hmm. subscribe to or you can purchase at the supermarket, just like the print magazines are now. And he said that he plans to unveil these plans in August. And Boy, this guy never stops. Oh, I know. And his mom. You know what she did? Mm -hmm. Liquid paper, which, you know, you use to correct typing mistakes. Right. Her mom invented that. So I guess creative minds sort of run the family there. Watch for more from mm -hmm. Michael Nesmith. And watch for more of Crook and Chase with our guest Lynn Anderson. She'll join us live after this.